Hello Cancer, this is Nicole with Angelic Therapy and Healing, bringing you a general and a love reading for the month of July 2016. I am going to do something a little different this month since it is the, you know, we're here in the U.S. going to be celebrating July 4th, our independence. Um, th there are these little things that, you know, kids and even I like to throw on the ground, <laughs> these things called poppets, you throw it on the ground, it just pops. And um, so it's, it's fun to do with kids because they can't really hurt themselves. So I'm going to, at the end, I'm going to pull a card and I'm going to call it our little poppet question because think of a question when we get to the end that's like a simple yes or no type question. I'm going to pull a card from Doreen Virtue's Angel Answers Oracle deck and, um, and it's really good for yes or no type questions because you're not going to get an in-depth answer, which is why I, I don't use them when I do readings because, you know, the angels, they talk a lot and share a lot of messages, so uh, get way more than what's on those cards, but they are great if you've got a question that's really easy, yes or no. So at the end, give you an opportunity to think of a question, and uh, we will flip that over and see what they have to tell you. I have prayed over the cards, shuffled them, asked that each of you receives at least one message. If it's not really resonating, you can check your rising and your moon sign. And the only way to get details specific for you and your situation is to schedule a private reading with me. You can do that on my webpage. I will put the link below. I will also embed it in this video for you. And your last little public card. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we have for you this month, Cancer. This is going to be a good month because we're starting right out the gate with Knight of Gabriel. And at the bottom it says, time to take action, great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do. So a number of you have been, been going through a lot of changes in a number of areas in your life. You know, work, love you know, situations with family. It's, it's, it's just been a lot of upheaval. And you finally have cleared that slate. And it's even, the message is even reiterated. We're gonna skip a card ahead if I can get them picked up. Because you've been successful in clearing everything away. And this says debt paid off. The old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you in your life. Now, typically this card is, you know, talking a lot about financial debt, but what they're saying with this is, you've you've paid your your karmic debt all these things that have shifted and changed and been lifted off of you that weight that was holding you down and holding you back it's been removed so so now you have a renewed passion for life now you're ready to move forward and if you look here you know she's sitting on the horse she's moving forward and, and knights move quickly so this is a month that you're going to begin moving forward very quickly in all areas of your life. So this, this slate's been cleared, the karmic debt's been paid off, and, and, and now you're going to start moving forward. And, and, and a number of you are gonna be moving forward in different areas at one time. So it's gonna be a lot at once, but they do encourage you to not be, not be intimidated, to not be discouraged, to, to move forward fearlessly, take that action because that is why you have gone through all these changes and shifts to prepare you for that. Now we have love creeping up a little bit here. We have six of Raphael. At the bottom it says, embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindle relationships, children or childhood. So for some of you, this is just to let you know and they're encouraging you to have fun um, life's been very serious. Life has been very heavy. You have now lifted that weight off of you. So they're encouraging you to be like a child, to, to have fun, to enjoy life, to, to get out there and find your joy again. You know, children find joy in little things. And you've just been weighed down by such heavy stuff for a lot of you. It, it's gotten, for some of you, almost to a, to a state of depression, sadness, um, it's time to raise yourself back to a place of joy because that, that's all behind you now. You've, you've paid your debts, that weight's gone, it's time for you to move forward. Now for some of you, this is talking about you're gonna have someone from the past, romantic, they're saying it's a romantic partnership with someone from the past who's going to be returning. 
And for some of you, when that person returns, they're encouraging you this month to, to go out on a limb. Go retreat with that person. This card's retreat. At the bottom it says it's time to disconnect from the world. They're encouraging you when they do resurface, take the time to get to go and spend time with them. Get to know them again. Get to connect with each other. Because for those of you that this is a message, they, they're bringing that person back for a reason. And, and you'll discover it when you go and you spend time with them. Now, some of you are in a relationship. You're married, you're in a relationship, you know, you've been going through a lot of things at work and just with life and family and kids and it's just, it's been a stressful time. So it has worn on your marriage. It's worn on your relationship, your partnership. So they are encouraging you to, in July, take some time to retreat, go enjoy time, just the two of you. Bring that spark back. And then you can have some fireworks in your bedroom as well as out, outdoors this month. But it, it's gonna take quality time of just the two of you to, to rekindle the romance, to light that spark again, to reconnect with each other. But to do that, you'll have to disconnect from everyone else. Let the kids stay with grandma and grandpa and get away, get away for the weekend. Focus on just each other. next card we have is let go of control issues allow this situation to unfold naturally okay so some of you are single and you know you've been praying and asking for the love of your life to come into your life and it's just not working and it's because of fear and doubts that you have some of you you have met someone some of you've met a divine partner divine relationship partner and it's it's not going as you would like it to go. There's been a lot of back and forth and back and forth, and, and that's the dynamic with divine relationships, divine partnerships, um, because you both have to take care of your own healing and deal with your own stuff before you can come together. But, but you're getting really frustrated with that. And again, with that place of not being happy, you know, wanting to know when are they going to come back? When are they going to return? Why aren't they calling me? What, why is this not moving forward? You're, you're, you're trying to control it and, you, and you're putting up a block. So they're encouraging you, let go and let God because they, they've heard your prayers, but now you have to get out of their way. So for those of you that are completely single, have no one in mind, but you sit and you fret about it all the time, trust God and angels, they, they've heard your prayer. And, you know, in my readings, I always say, God, that's what rings true to my heart. But I, I don't take offense if any of you replace that with whatever is the higher power to you. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. So feel, feel free to replace it at any point. But they're saying, they've heard your prayers. Just let go, let God. You know, if you've asked for the love of a lifetime, have faith and know that that's going to happen and go have fun. Go enjoy your life. Go, ha go have fun and start having these other dreams come to fruition. And then they'll bring her or him into your lifetime. And, and for those of you that have met this divine partner and you're like, oh my gosh, why isn't this working? Well, maybe it's because you're supposed to go have fun and you're supposed to pursue this, this new opportunity, this new career, this new career path. That's your mission. And then they're going to bring them into your life. But, but it's not going to happen while you're trying to control it. And trying to wonder when and why and how and 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 control every aspect of it because the sooner you release control and you let go and you let God because God's the one that's in charge the sooner it will happen and the less stress you'll have last card we have is goddess of compassion and on the bottom it says self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth so some of you are very critical of yourselves. You beat yourselves up, um, even your internal talk. You doubt yourself. You don't feel you're worthy. You don't think you're capable. You, you don't allow love in. You don't allow yourself to love yourself. So it, if you can't love yourself and have compassion for yourself, you're not going to have anyone come in to love you because you won't be open to that. So they're encouraging you because those of you that are in this situation, you're wanting a partner, you're wanting someone to share your life with. But you're going to first need to love yourself and be compassionate with yourself in order to open yourself up for someone to come in and love you the way that you deserve to be loved. 
So, they're encouraging you in July. You've gotten rid of all this other junk you're working on. So now work on your heart. Work on healing your heart. You know, Archangel Raphael, he's not only the angel of love, he's the angel of healing. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you heal your heart so that you can love yourself, be compassionate with yourself, be kind with yourself. Not blame yourself for things that happened and didn't happen, what you did or didn't do. It's irrelevant. Whatever you did or didn't do, it was perfect at that time. It was the best you could do. Experiences that you went through, that doesn't decrease your value at all. You're still divine. You're still perfect. So ask Archangel Raphael to get you back to a place of loving yourself, seeing how amazing you are. And in July, have fun to try and lift yourself, lift your spirits. And then that way they can bring your love of a lifetime in for you. Oh, do you guys have your question? I flipped it over before I asked if you had your question. Okay, think about it. Take a second. What's your question? We're gonna have our little pop it answer. Do you have your question in mind? Okay. So you have look for a sign. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna read the book. Let's see here. Okay. Your angels have a very special and specific answer to your question. You can expect to see signs right away that will have deep meaning to you. Many people see white feathers to indicate that their angels are with them, or they may smell scents from their childhood that they connect with a family member. Signs require focused attention, so be awake to the possibilities. Don't mistake synchronistic events for mere coincidences at this time. They are a message especially designed for you. So pay attention to those and they'll be able to help you. So it's, it's going to be a really good month, Kaser. I mean, you guys, I mean, this is good stuff. Moving forward, you, you've finished all your work. You've lifted all that weight off, released that karmic debt. Have some fun this month. Enjoy the holidays. Be safe. And um, I do wish you an amazing month filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.